Hey everybody, FFG Dad back with some more Clash of Clans. And we got some, uh, we got a few raids that we did today. I'm going to do some updates. And if you haven't done it yet, remember that thumbs up button, subscribe, like, tap the bell notification so that way you know when we make more videos. On this first raid, I was uh, working on a, what was it? The. Um, the green elixir, the the poison, and the little thing at the bottom was it to get to get that wall breaker uh, achievement, the challenges. Yeah, that's it, the challenges, the wall breaker challenge. So I brought in those giants to tank, and then we put brought the archers in to take some, hoping for at least like a one star maybe. But then I just start dumping in all these wall breakers trying to get that achievement now this isn't the only one I tried to get the achievement on however this is kind of the way it went on all of the battles I did to try to get that achievement and I, I didn't do very good the wall breakers didn't break as much as I thought they would so we didn't really get in there I was hoping to get in there and get the air defenses out of the way before I put in my uh, air troops and it didn't work out that way however this is the one where we actually did get to uh, we, we got the achievement this was the last one I did I did get the achievement after this but as you see it didn't work out as well as I had planned I was hoping to get in there and at least get the one star I did not get the one star um, and right here we're going to end with a fizzle. I'm not even sure if I put out the Barbarian King. Let's wait and see. Let's see if I did. Uh, no, I don't think I did. Yep, I surrendered and I said okay. Well, that's alright. We only went in there to get that. After that I did get the achievement, but we only went in there to get that wall breaking achievement. Now let's move on to the next one. Alright, so this next one we were doing our dailies. We were going over to the dark side. I do play the dark side an awful lot. I do like the dark side. I would rather play the builder base. You don't have to spend any loot to... I mean, yeah, you get loot from raiding. You don't have to spend any elixir to build your troops. You don't have to spend any anything. You just go over there and you don't lose anything when you lose. You don't lose anything. So you don't lose out. kind of like that. And plus you only have to wait like two and a half minutes to play again. And that's if you don't use the uh, clock tower. If you use the clock tower, you just, you know, go and play one right after another for nine minutes. But anyway, so uh, on the dark side, we always play the same way. So we're a little behind, but we usually put out first, we put out the giants, then, well, no, first we put out the archers, then giants then the wall breakers and then we throw the barbarians in and then we do more archers the archers and the barbarians the last set you know it fluctuates from one to one but we got in we got two stars so we got the one star we were looking for and we ended up with the two stars so we got our daily out of the way yep there it is 54 percent two stars all right so this is uh our war we were in a war so mos versus chesda throwing in those lightning spells to weaken and or get rid of that so we got rid of one we weakened the other and I think he throws a uh, yep there it is uh, and then he throws another one on the one on the right uh, earthquake spell oh didn't he I thought he did yep there it is so he threw an earthquake spell on that one and then he comes in on the right with some electro dragons uh, does he put them all out? Yep, throws all the Electro Dragons out on the right. So those Electro Dragons make their way in. And it looks like he threw a, uh, what is it, well there's a Lava Hound in to take out those last two air defenses. Um, I'm not sure if the Lava Hound takes them out or not. Let's wait and see. I'm pretty sure they do as they come in. He's got that uh, Siege Machine coming in, that Wall Breaker. Go ahead and right towards the middle like it should. And uh, nope, he did not get the air defenses out with the lava hounds, but they got those lava pups going. And here he comes in the middle, throws a uh, ice spell for a second, and those dragons head around and uh, go right to the well. 
the other two had a round, but the ones were going right to the middle. We got the two stars, and we still have a couple balloons running in there. And as the balloons come through, those dragons pop out the other ones. Now we're, I think we're going to lose another dragon here pretty soon. I think we only finish with two dragons. He does get the three star. Nope, he does get. He's got three dragons. I was wrong. Hey. At least I can admit it. Sometimes you're wrong. So we ended up with four dragons. I miscounted. And the warden. So this was a nice three star for our clan during this war. Which is good. MOS is a very good player. He's one of our best best players. And he is also a leader in our clan. But they're 99%. Oh, he didn't make it all the way down to the bottom. Didn't make it there. Alright, so 99% two star and we'll move on to the next now on this next raid war battle whatever you want to call it it was me against Wat Watte Watte it sounds like something you would say like if you were trying to be you know Watte <laughs> however so this is an odd configuration town hall configuration base configuration whatever you want to call it I don't make it very far through this at all. I start off on the left and uh, I think, uh, well let's see, I don't remember exactly how I did this. I know I should probably watch these things first before I try to uh, to do my voiceover on the recording, but that does, that would make it not fun. Alright, so it looks like we're starting out with the Barbarian King, coming with the Barbarian King, and then my Giants, Wall Breakers going in to uh, try to get something open. Like I said, I don't make it very far on this at all. Alright, so we're going to heal them. Oh, we put out too many heals. I think I put out too many heals all at once. Or did I only have the one heal? Not sure. Wall breakers again. Breaking that wall. And then uh, we come out with the rest of the giants. And then from there, okay, the, the wizards and then the uh, archers. Oh, we're going to heal them first. You know what that healing thing... Uh, Big Brother does that, and I see him do that, and it actually works great when you put healers on your giants, as long as you don't have air defenses in the way. I think ultimately what took out my healers was the air defense we couldn't get to, because I couldn't get through that first wall. But uh, we slowly make it through on the bottom right. I had to let my uh, air troops go here pretty soon. I don't remember who did it. Look, it looks like I'm going to the right. Yep. There goes the air troops. Where are we putting them? There they are, right there. Trying to get the air troops in. They're taken out by that air defense. And then the clan castle goes down in the same spot. Uh, never went up against a base that was like this. I didn't really know how to get in. I was trying to get that one star. I believe this was another daily. So I was just trying to get into that one star and two... No, no, this was Dark Elixir farming. I was trying to get to the Dark Elixir and I was trying to go through the left. I probably should have went through the bottom right, but I didn't um, make a mistake. You live, you learn, you know. That's... You know, all these other guys, all these other YouTubers, they put stuff on, and they always put on three stars. Well, I even show you when I screw up, and I did horrible on this one. I'm not even sure we made one star, but we'll uh, get through the rest of this. So we'll look at those giants who are trying to go down into the right. We've already lost our king, and then now we got that blower blowing back our... our... Uh, balloons and then here comes that last dragon who's going to get taken out also I mean, we did we, we didn't make it very far in at all I, I don't even believe we made it to 30 percent we might have but i don't think we did look now the, now the guy's going after or the guy the air defense is going after my healers well there's nothing for them to heal so i guess they're kind of tanking for the balloons but next will be the balloons the balloons and then the dragon will get taken out no, oh, I'm getting taken out by their dragon. Yeah, so 26%. Didn't even make 30% on that one. However, you have to see these things in order to know what not to do. So you know what not to do now. Don't do it that way. Now this next one that's coming up, um, I believe it was, uh, 
Was it Sandmaster or FFG Dad? Well, I guess we're going to have to wait for it. Looks like, see, we got that cheer going on there. Yep, so FFG Dad. This was an overkill. Definitely an overkill. This was, I believe, my second attack in the war. And uh, everybody else had three stars. So we start with our hog riders coming in from the right. They take out the air defense. And then we throw in our balloons on the other side. Our on the right we put our clan castle and then the top left we put our dragons and we wipe this out easy I think it's good to do this once in a while to get your uh, spirits up hey yeah you gotta get that three star and win even though it was an easy three star we made it through without really losing anybody I don't think um, but that was cool three star and whatever whatever it takes to get that three star for the clan in clan wars you gotta do it if you three star the one your level and it's five levels below you that someone else is at then you might as well just get it done and get it done and over with yep see that's what it was I was in the thing so we're gonna replay this one it's like we're replaying one that already went alright so this is uh, Mikasa versus Oudman. Oudman maybe this is a three star I didn't look at it at the beginning I think it was a three star but he comes in from the top right I believe he starts out with uh, his clan castle troops because I don't see a ice golem on there, but he does have an ice golem that comes in. So let's check it out. So the top right looks, yep, he's got the clan castle troops out. He attacks from up there. And then I believe he pulls some hog riders in. He's throwing some hog rider. Nope, he goes with the wizards first. He goes in with the wizards, that ice golem, and some. Uh, blowy up guys, wall breakers, and then the hogs. And then the hogs, when he throws the hogs in, they go in and they kind of go up and around once he gets them out there. Come on, you can do it. Get those hog riders up there. There's more hog riders on the left. Oh, I missed those ones. So hog riders on the left, hog riders on the top, and then he puts the hog riders on the right. The rest of them right. No, he didn't put any hog riders on the right. I swear I seen hog riders on the right. Well, I guess I didn't. So hog riders are on the left. He throws a couple heal spells down to keep them going. So hog riders go right to the middle. Uh, we do have hog riders on the bottom left, but most of them are in the middle getting that expo. Throws that heal down to heal his hog riders. They take out that air defense, and then they take out the rest of that down there. And then here pretty soon he throws in his cleanup army. And his cleanup army will come up and around from the bottom. So look at that. The ice golem is still in there. And look at those hog riders go. The, so the hog riders are coming around. There he goes. Oh, so he put them on the left. I thought he put them on the right. I could have swore he put them on the right. I actually watched this one before narrating it this time. And I still got it wrong. But he comes around. So look, he has almost all of his troops left. And he got that three star. So Mikasa did very well. Mikasa is also one of our higher guys in our clan. And uh, got that three star for our clan in the uh, war. Now this next one's just a family fight, a friendly fight, family fight. Well, I guess if it's a clan, it's a family. Your clan's your family, right? Anyway, so this is just a friendly fight I threw on there. So uh, Jazo King went in and uh, she wanted to see if she could take out my base because I was I was telling people how I haven't been three star I've, I've never been three star on this base the way it's set up and up until this point I didn't so I guess I just gave, gave away the end up until this point I didn't well she comes in with those hog riders on the right backs them up with some wizards and those hog riders just jump through maybe I've never got a hog rider to go in there hog rider team what do they call hoggle gang and he comes in with the hog riders with the wizards and then uh, where does she put the valkyries the valkyries go in there too but this was for her an easy three star on me and she is also a town hall eight I'm a town hall seven which shouldn't really matter as much being that close but those hogs just run through everything and end up three star in me I since then have changed my war base so I did go online I don't like doing that I like coming up with my own ideas but I did go online and find a it's called you know an anti three star base um, which 
is supposed to protect me against other things. I'll have that uh, right on that up in probably a couple days. We have another war that's going on now. I can't use it on this war because I just changed it and you have to wait to use it on the war so I'll use it on the next war. But that town hall will be uh, or that war base will be put up. But yeah, there she goes. And she's still got all those hog riders left and her king and she gets that three star easy on me. So yes, because of that I changed my base. And that's it for today. Uh, just a couple braids that we've done in today's. But as always, if you haven't done it yet, subscribe, like, hit the bell, well tap the bell, hit the bell, whatever, hit the thumbs up. And if you want to watch us live every day, 6 a.m. Eastern Time, twitch.tv forward slash video gaming family and we also broadcast on saturday morning at 7 a.m and thank you for watching to the end and we'll see you on the next one